contemplating that millions of people will congregate here at headquarters from different corners of the earth to show that the kingdom fulfills what is written in the book of Daniel chapter 7 especially. All nations, all tribes, all kindreds, all people, all tongues. Yes, he has succeeded in expanding the kingdom's assets, mobile and immobile, beyond our logical evaluation. The Holy Father's assertion that it is always pleasant to repose confidence on somebody on the ground that one can do something well is justified. Today, the confidence that the Holy Father, leader Olumba Olumba Obu, reposes on our divine celebrity, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu, as the only one destined to take the kingdom to the next level is justified beyond every reasonable doubt. Because the King of Kings has already exceeded the limit of expectations. He has taken the kingdom and, of course, all of us to higher levels, higher than how we were. We would even invite the world to come and see how God operates. The modus operandi of God himself. Here there is progress and it is vivid. Today we have governors in the world, they are saying, what have you done with the monies given to you? What have you... If you come to the kingdom of God, like we are here, you could see for yourself that indeed, whatever resources are available to the kingdom are plowed into things that are visible, projects that are visible. If anybody should come to Ambo today, if you were here some 20, 10 years ago, I'm sure like everybody will see, the transformation is vivid and glaring. During one of his sessions with the virgins, his Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu gave a lead into the secrets of his successes when he made a stunning revelation that the secret I learned early on from my father was to run scared and never think I had made it. My father also told me, never measure the height of a mountain until you get to the top and then you will see how low it is. His Holiness told the 144,000 virgins that the feeling that there is more room for improvement always drove him to forge ahead for greater accomplishments. And that is why he maintains the view that promotion should not be more important than accomplishment because the reward of a thing well done is to have done it. Those that have problems, they can testify. Even some people by just seeing him, touching him, his power is even more than ever. Because just a mere seeing him, even in the spirits, and he makes pronouncement, it comes to pass. He doesn't even have to know you or see you, but just by another person coming to put his problem or your problem before him, he says, oh, all is well, and it's, it's well, in the name of his, our Lord, his name is given before you. So unlike in the olden days, you have to go and meet Christ before it happened. But today, wherever you are, he is omnipresent. Brotherhood for the very first time, I could happily kneel down and pray along with everybody. It was a hell of a nightmare for me. But when I came to the Brotherhood and explained my and explained my problems to the Most Holy Father, He asked me to have faith that my problems are over. Amen. That was it. And believe me, today the problems are over. Amen. Year by year. We are becoming better equipped to accomplish the things we are striving for. But what are we actually striving for? It is to actualize a sinless kingdom with a sinless people. To evolve a God-conscious, crime-free new world where everybody would be his brother's keeper. A new world with mutual love and interdependence culture. Emphasizing that every calling is great when greatly pursued. His holiness is a human epitome and perfect practical interpreter of love. But look at him. Look at God himself. He has given you all the things you need to live by. He said follow his, his footstep and you will never go wrong. You will never derail. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the characteristics of a supernatural leader, His Holiness Olumba Olumba Obu, 
leads his flock with practical examples, unlike the worldly teachers of the word of God, who ask their congregations to do what they say and not what they do. So many Christians um, are always uh, find themselves in a, a, a situation of you know being confused, wondering where they are. But we members of Brotherhood of the Cross and Star have always felt the impact and the presence of our Redeemer. of God. You are the civilization of the world. You own the world, whether they believe it or not. Everything emanates from this spiritual headquarters. And until Obama, until the Chinese, until the rest of the world know that, they cannot solve the economic problems in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This era is the era of blessings. Greatness, joy and happiness This era there shall be no more sorrow Who believes shall be saved whoa, 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 This era whoa, 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 is the era of blessing Greatness, joy and happiness whoa, 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 There shall be no more sorrow Who believes shall be Say, if you believe and love it on the ground, it is expedient that you do so to the sun, for that is the only way to joy and happiness. Who believes shall be saved? Oh, 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 oh. This era is the era of blessings, oh, 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 oh. greatness, joy and happiness. No more sorrow, who believes shall be 